Hi, my name is Aaron Hip with Kinetic Security Solutions, and I'm here today to tell you about the adaptive tuning system. So about a year or so ago, I was interested in learning how barrel tuners can affect your performance of your rifle. And so in looking at them online, I very quickly realized I didn't like the designs of the existing tuners that were out there. They were either a clamp-on device or they required you to thread an additional section of your barrel back behind your muzzle threads. Uh, for me, that's a bit of a non-starter just due to the fact that to do that, you're going to have to tear your rifle apart, send it to a gunsmith, you're going to have to pay the additional cost, and you're going to be out with your rifle for a while until it comes back. So uh, I didn't really like the idea of, of you know, adding more work to, to your existing barrel just to try something. Uh, on top of that, in the PRS, we go through a lot of barrels, so it becomes very costly because if I want to use it on my next barrel, I'm going to have to have that one threaded as well, and the next one, and so on and so forth. So the adaptive tuning system, the way it works is it actually sits down over top, shoulders up on your normal shoulder, uses your existing muzzle threads, and it's just this simple. So no additional barrel work required, screw it on, and you're good to go. You can also use any additional muzzle, or any of your existing muzzle brakes that you would currently use. Uh, Self-aligning style works obviously the best because you can align it and then you've got the jam that, and then that jam that shoves everything back, it just it sandwiches it all there, it keeps it all tight. But this works with all the, the most common uh, brakes that we see in the PRS, whether it's um, Patriot Valley, Masterpiece Arms, 419, APA, you name it, they all work. It also works with suppressors just as easily. Uh, there's still plenty of thread engagement on here. Uh, so it's, it's a non-issue. Once you've got it on, loosen one set screw up, and then that's your tuning weight, right? I think there's four plus total rotations. It's more than what you'd ever need. I've, I've never used anywhere near that much. Um, so it's been great. I've been running it with one set screw for a long time now, and I haven't had it loosen up at all. If you're concerned about it, you can use two. I, I strongly suggest you don't use three because these screws are 120 degrees offset from each other, uh, and so you kind of create a gimbal situation when you use all three. I've used one, I've not had an issue. If you're concerned about it, use one, tighten it down, put Loctite on it. Uh, if you want to use two, go for it, but I strongly suggest, again, don't use all three. The only thing that we found in testing is that some gunsmiths like to cut an overly large relief cut back here behind their muzzle threads, and in that situation, uh, what happens is the tuner actually sits down, it threads on, and then it kind of sits in there. Now, in, in all honesty, with a uh, muzzle brake that's going to shoulder up against it, or a suppressor and you're gonna tighten that down, once once it's all shouldered, it's not gonna go anywhere and, and you'll still be able to use the weight and everything just like you normally would. Uh, but again, we, we know that people are not gonna like that. I don't like it. And so uh, they'll come with a shim kit. And so the way this will work is, if you've got one of those gunsmiths that likes to cut really big reliefs, we've got some shims. And these shims, the OD of the shims match kind of the ID of the collar on the inside. And so they self-center, thread the tuner on, and it shoulders up and then you just put everything back on as normal. Uh, right now we have these in 5H24 and half 28 are coming. So uh, in the meantime, if you want to use it on a 223, I've actually been running mine on a 223 now for quite a while, my trainer. I've been running just a normal half 28 to 5H24 adapter. It's been no issue. I've actually run the adapter, the tuner, and a, a suppressor on top of that. Uh, if you get to a discipline where you can't use a muzzle brake or a suppressor, uh, you can just put a thread protector on, but you, you'll want something that will that will shoulder it up to lock it up there. So a thread protector will work fine in something like F-Class um, or one of those disciplines where you can't use a muzzle brake or a suppressor. The final versions of these are going to be nitrided. Uh, they'll be uh, black nitride with uh, reference markings laser engraved about every 15 degrees on the outside diameter of the, of the tuning weight. 22s, we know a lot of people like to, to run tuners on 22s since you can't really tune your, or you can't do load development on a 22. It's really about finding the right lot of ammo that works the best. Uh, and I think that's where tuners come in really handy. The other thing is, you know, I know that there's been a number of times I leave here, I go to a match, and, you know, I left here, left my house with a rifle that was shooting one whole groups, and I get to a match, you know, down south somewhere, and next thing you know, my rifle's not shooting as well as what it was when it left. And I think that's the value of a tuner. Uh, very quickly with some very small adjustments you can dial your load back in so you leave it's one hole you get somewhere it's a half inch it, it happens don't tell I don't know why uh, we've all seen it at one time or another there's some of you that are gonna say I've never seen it no, great for you I wish I had your luck um, the other thing being is factory ammo uh, factory ammo has gotten a lot better over the years but you know what you know you can't do any load development with factory ammo but 
you can with a barrel tuner. So, I mean, you can make some adjustments using factory ammo and, and potentially get that factory ammo actually to shoot better than what it was. Uh, so, it, you know, that's the value in my opinion of these things is, you know, going from place to place, being able to dial a load in without actually changing the load itself, without changing seating depth, without changing powder charge. Um, and I've, I've just had great performance with these. I, 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 it's really opened my eyes. Um, I learned a lot when I started you know, doing the testing and tinkering and, and during the development of this. Uh, but again, it's it's been great. I, I think you guys will like them, I hope so. Uh, these will be available starting this Friday. Uh, they will be available on my webpage, which is kineticsecuritysolutions.com. Uh, and then Josh Coons will also be stocking them at Patriot Valley Arms. He will be the first stocking dealer for them as well. So. Uh, if you're going to be down at K&M Match, uh, feel free to find me. I'll have a number of these with me. I'll have them on my rifles. I might have uh, a few extra as well, but we'll put them on my 223 and put you guys on the line if you want to play with it. We might throw one on a 22 and let you just dial back and forth so you can actually see what it does. Uh, I, I think the, the proof is in the pudding. Once you get one and you play with one, you're, you're going to see the value in them. Uh, but other than that, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, again, these will be available on Friday.